So who's in this gallery here? These are some of our patients. We call them patients because we don't regard them as dead people. Their idea is that what we call death today is something of an arbitrary line. Really, it's today's doctors giving up and saying, there's nothing more I can do for this person, and I'm letting them go. What we're doing is we're saying, let's not quit there. Let's give the future a chance to bring these patients back. Moore doesn't promise he'll be able to bring any of his patients back, but he thinks the chances are pretty good. Already, we're seeing the field of regenerative medicine just burgeoning. Uh, we're already starting to replace organs and grow organ parts. And I think within the next 20 years, you're going to see some amazing developments. So pretty much any organ in the body will be replaceable, either with a biological one grown from your own tissue or perhaps a synthetic organ. After an Alcor member is declared legally dead, the patient is immediately placed in an ice bath. Then, the Alcor team restores respiration to make sure oxygen continues to flow to the brain until the body is cryopreserved. So let me show you the patient care bay. Patient care bay. Yes, this is where we have currently 117 patients, the oldest being Professor James Bedford, who's cryopreserved back in 1967. Wow! Oh my gosh, this so. is very sci-fi. I mean, you must get some strong reactions from people, you tell them what you do. Especially when they don't really understand it. They, they think there's some kind of strange, creepy thing where you're freezing people, why would you do that? But once they understand that really it's an extension of critical care medicine, it's just us picking up at the point where today's medicine gives up on people, it makes a lot more sense. When they see patients in hospitals being taken down in 10 degrees C to slow down metabolism while you do brain surgery, it starts to make sense. When they look at the research into organ cryopreservation, the goal being to actually build an organ bank and you know, keep a stock of organs rather than having to match one across the country very rapidly, it starts to make sense. It's certainly speculative, it's certainly not guaranteed, we're not sure if it's going to work, but it's not crazy, it's a shot, it gives you a chance. And as for Max Moore? You would live forever. I don't really use the word forever because forever is a very long time. Uh, there may be the heat death of the universe, our sun might explode in a few billion years, who knows? But indefinite lifespan I'm talking about. Really changing death from being compulsory to making it an option. So you know, check back with me in a thousand years and ask me if I've had enough. 